today is take five day. Welcome back to this new episode, guys. My name is Martino, and today I'm gonna show you how to practice this really cool piece, take five. So I'm gonna give you methods and tips and tricks and tip in how to practice it. So I'm gonna divide it into section A and what to do on section B. You ready? Let's start. Intro. Section A of take five. Firstly, um, you want to ask yourself, where is the melody starting? Okay, if you see there's a pickup, right? Okay, the actual piece, well, starts on the four. Okay, so we have five beats in the bar. One, two, three, four, five. We start on the four, okay? That's where we start. One, two, three, four, five, okay? So super important to know. So if we have our metronome here, a bit, a bit slower, a bit under tempo. One, two, three. Okay, and that F sharp for us, um, for alto is on the one. So super important to know that, okay? I've seen people playing it like. Or. I'm exaggerating, but roughly that's what it is, okay? Now. It's supposed to be swung, right? It has a swing feel, okay? My first advice is this, play it straight, okay? So this is, we have the metronome 120, okay? You know, all straight. Togo, diga, dago, digi, one and two and three, uh, 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 okay? Play straight and then you apply the swing. That's something that you could do, okay? Otherwise, the swing is kind of gonna destroy the actual feel instead of making it nicer and, and better, okay? Another very important thing is the end of this phrase. That dong ding to that what that is is basically you are together with the main riff on the piano. Bom bom do gun do ding dong gong gong. Okay, so when you play it together either with the backing track or with the band or whatever, okay? You want to be sure that those two notes are perfectly in sync uh, with with everything else. Because I've, I've seen people do... Or things like that, okay? So that's a very important thing to know as well. When you play those 16 notes, and this is what you get... <laughs> kind of thing, okay? There's two things you could do. Firstly, let's strip it down to the very skeleton of the piece, and we're gonna do this. We're gonna play. So we're not doing 16 notes, okay? We're just playing basically quarter notes. Okay, that's to, that's, that's to get you started, okay? If you play with the metronome, will be one, uh, three, four, five. Okay, which is the most important thing because that forces you to actually think about the four and the five, okay? And then you apply the 16 notes. Now, in order to get the 16 notes clear, okay, there's a trick that you can do in order to practice this. And I've gone a very detail in a video that I'm going to link over here, somewhere here, okay? Uh, which is how to practice a fast piece. Now, we're going to do it quickly here together. <clears throat> Check it out. So, um, we have four 16 notes. Okay. Because it's fiddly, it's, it's a little bit annoying, you know, technically. We're going to hold the first note and play the second one really quickly. Cool. Okay. Then we're gonna reverse it and we're gonna play quick hold. Quick hold. So. Okay. Then you can do it every four. Right? So you're holding the first and then super quick until the last. And then you can reverse it. Okay, that's super important until you get 
you know, it should be cleaner. So I would practice it, if you're struggling with those 16 notes, I would practice it this way more than the actual normal way, okay? Uh, until that feels really comfortable and then when you have to go and play the, not the normal way, it will be just super easy, okay? I think these are the main things for the A section. Now let's move to the B section. <laughs> Section. The B section is completely different from the A section. The A section was well, a little minor and, uh, and let's say dark. The A section is all bright and sunny and, and, and nice, okay? Now, because the rhythm is completely different from what we had in the A section, the rhythm, let's say, it's a little bit more complex. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna split the bar into two, two parts, four parts, two, into two parts, okay? And we're gonna do this together, okay? So I have my metronome at a one, still a 120, so we're under tempo, but that's okay, okay? And we're gonna play the first half of the bar together, and, and we're gonna do that for the first one, two, three, for the first three bars of the piece, okay? Let me show you, and then you can do it with me again, okay? So 120, one, two, three, four, five. sense so we're skipping that chromatic part that we have which we're gonna take a look later okay ready together with me metronome here one two three four five Okay, that's just to get the first part. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna do exactly the same thing, but we're gonna reverse it. We're gonna rest for the first three beats, and then we're gonna play on the chromatic part. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, uh. Okay, makes sense? Great stuff, okay. Try to split the bar somehow, you know, so you practice one thing first and you practice the other thing later. That's gonna give your brain a, a bit more order. Now we can try to play the whole thing together. One, two, three, four, uh. Now we're gonna move into this fourth bar of the B section, which is the, let's say the fourth bar I think is the most compli complicated. Let's do that, okay? So first half of the bar, fourth bar. One, two, three, four, five. Make sense? Okay. Do you want to try on your own? Try it. Ready? Uh, play for two bars. I'm going to count you in. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Okay? Cool stuff. Now, let's reverse it and let's play the last two beats. So we're going to rest for three beats and then we're going to play for four four and five okay so i'm gonna land on the one of the next bar make sense okay let's try so i'm gonna count you in five and then we're gonna rest for three and then we're gonna play do it with me first we're gonna loop it for four bars here it is one two three four five one two uh. nice again one two three Nice, again, last one. Uh, one, two, three. Actually, one more, I said four. <laughs> and one, two, three. Cool stuff. Do you wanna try? Give it a try. Ready? I'm gonna count you in for five, then three rest, and then you play. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Nice. Same thing again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Da, 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 da. Cool stuff. Okay. Let's play the whole bar. Okay. Whole bar are a hundred. Let's do this. Let's play it once and then rest for one full bar 
and then play it again, rest for one full bar. Okay, let's do that twice. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Make sense? Do you want to try it? Give it a try. I'm going to count you in five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, again. Cool. Very cool. And then it repeats again, the same thing. That's exactly the same, okay? Still at 100, metronome at 100. Let's practice the first part of the bar, okay? So, that's it, okay? Just a just few times. Ready? With me? One, two, three, four, five. That's okay, right? Now, let's reverse it and let's play the last two beats of the bar. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one. Once more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one. Cool. Shall we play the whole thing? Yeah, let's do it. Come on. <clears throat> One, two, uh. And so on. Yes! Give me five. <laughs> cool. What you want to do is you want to try to break down bars, sections, as much as you can. That's the secret. You know, it's not playing from top to bottom a hundred times. It's actually to play little sections a hundred times so they actually become super strong and easy. Make sense? Guys, I hope you are good. Subscribe to see more videos like this. I have many videos planned that I want to do. And if you have any suggestions, you know, just always you can comment here below. If you have any questions about take five or how to practice or, you know, whatever, comment here below as well. If you need any help with your saxophone playing, you can book a free discovery call with me so we can chat. I can learn about your background and we can just make a plan and give you more information about lessons. You can also join our saxophone performance classes on Patreon. We can deliver a pizza for you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's it, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Thank you.